Hey everyone, my name is Raymond and you're watching Board Game Heaven. In today's episode, I'm going to take a look at Fast Shot by Jürgen Spreutels, published by Jumping Turtle Games. And Fast Shot comes in two versions of two different colors, which makes it possible to play this up to four players if you combine both games. And it is a dexterity game where you're shooting discs, uh, round discs, into a goal shaped like this, and you have to uh, pass some obstacles or knock down some pillars first before you can go into that goal and others can of course uh, block your way. So it's a uh, quick little dexterity game that's uh, very portable and it's a nice filler game to bring along. Fits in every collection because it's so small. And uh, so let me show you what's inside these boxes, uh, how to set up a game. I'll explain the rules and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So let's take a look at what's inside a box of Fast Shot. So on the back you can see that there are two variants and a bit of a setup example there and what it is about. So very small box, let's just open it up. There you go. So inside you will find several of these wooden pieces Ziploc bag, there we go. So we got three of these black columns over here. Oh. We got three of the white ones, a black disc, a white disc, and a gray gold piece. Along with the rules, of course, in several languages. And it also has several cards with several different setups on how to possibly set up the game. They're all double-sided. So there are some interesting things you can try out there. Okay, let's uh, set up a game. So the setup of Fast Shot is extremely simple. There are two kinds of setup cards in the game. You have cards with a target and you have a card with these two flags. And they're all double-sided. They all have one of these missions and one of these missions and there's 10 of these leaflets in the box. So it tells you how to set up a game. So for example, this one targets, tells you to set up the game like this. And if you're playing the flag where you have to go through them, then you set it up like indicated on this leaflet. That's everything you need to do to set it up. So let's explain the rules. So in one of these target scenarios, what you have to do is if I'm playing white, I have to flick my disc across the table, knocking down my white pillars. If I knock down one of my opponent's pillars, they stay down as well. I will simply have helped my opponent. Fallen pegs stay on the table, they act as a uh, obstacle. And if they should roll off the table, you simply put them back in the box. And after you've managed to knock over all your pegs, then you can try and score uh, by entering the goal. And you have to be all the way inside between these two legs. So this is not a valid victory. In a slalom scenario, you set it up according to the card. And what you need to do is to flick your disc through these pillars and then get it into the goal. And you can use the box for setting up the pegs equidistant like this. So you start flicking and you simply take turns doing that until one of both players manages to put their disc into the goal completely. You're allowed to put your entire hand on the table in order to flick it, but you can only use your finger. You can use your thumb to build tension. Now since the game comes in two different color variants, you can combine them and build your own four player scenarios. So here, for example, each player would have to knock over their own color pegs and then from either side flick through the portal and into the goal. Or maybe you want to make a big slalom track where all the players have to go through the white, then the black, then the blue, then the yellow one, and then through these last portals into the goal. And this is just an obstacle, you know, so they don't 
just go straight ahead. No, they have to really follow the path and you can make it any way you want to. You can play single games or set up a competition best out of three or maybe use the two sets to play with four people simultaneously in two different games and then the winners play against each other for the ultimate victory. You can get really creative with this. Right, so that's basically all you need to know about Fast Shot. Let's go to my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts about Fast Shot by Jumping Turtle Games. Well, first of all, the components are fine. They're wooden pieces and they are painted nicely. They're in even, simple colors. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about this, but the quality is good. I mean, it's wood. They're small components, but they're big enough to have a nice big disc that you can uh, push around across the table. Um, the boxes are nice and small, so it's very compact. The boxes are sturdy enough. Everything fits inside easily. And you can just put it in your pocket and take it with you to game night or to wherever you're going. All you need is a flat surface to play on. So that might be a challenge if you're taking it somewhere on a vacation or whatever. You do need a table or flat surface at least to play it on. But other than that, this is a very cool game to just bring along with you. And uh, like I said, it works well. It also works on if you have a vinyl play mat or something and it's a bit smooth, you can uh, play it on that as well. So, and you can go wild with this. And especially if you combine both games and you got four colors, you can build bigger, uh, you know, tables to play on, bigger parkours, bigger challenges. So you can have these target challenges where you have to knock over their pillars or you can have the slalom challenges where you have to go in between them. You can make entire courses and you can go wild. Heck, you could even use different components for that. You can use the boxes for that. You could go wild with this. I mean, this is basically a sandbox dexterity game, which comes with a couple of leaflets with examples. So you get 10 of these in the game that have uh, the front and a back. So that's uh, 20 scenarios you could set up and play. But of course, that's just an example and you can make up your own scenarios. Heck, I'd even say post your scenarios, take a picture, post them on Board Game Geek or on Facebook or something, you know, let us all see the creations you came up with. So for example, here I made two teams, uh, you know, across from each other. This is the goal for the black and white team and this is the goal for the red and blue team and they have to knock over the pillars. Simple as that. You can think of anything. One thing that I would have done differently though is that these leaflets are exactly the same in both versions. I would have made 10 different leaflets in both versions with different back sides as well so that if you, if you buy both uh, games you have more examples to play and more leaflets or even combined mode leaflets. You know, make it fast shot one, fast shot two and Fast Shot 2 has leaflets that also have all four colors combined. You know, that would at least give you more examples, but doesn't really matter. But uh, what I would like to see is indeed uh, examples of scenarios to play with three or four colors. So I can get some ideas on how to set that up if you don't, you know, if you're not that creative uh, thinking of, but again, it's a really easy. I mean, anyone can think of something to play and it doesn't really matter as long as it's symmetrical. So all players have, you know, an equal uh, opportunity to win. So other than that, it is a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's a cheap game. I mean, it's, it's portable and you can bring it along anywhere, play with anyone. All you need is a flat surface. So, I'm gonna give this a big thumbs up. It's gonna stay in my collection. I mean, this is so much fun and it's hardly taking up any space at all. So that is Fast Shot by Jumping Turtle Games. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.